All right, now we've got the Katsuki Bakugo version two, one eighth scale pre-painted figure. This is from My Hero Academia, though you probably knew that already. Where did we get this one? This is pretty expensive. I think normally it's around 165 or so. I got this on Amazon for like a percent of that. It was a really good deal from some delightful seller. There's like a coupon and I think, uh, yeah, I don't even know how much I got it for, but it was like nothing. And for a figure this big, that's pretty awesome. How I mentioned with my Shigaraki unboxing, that he was one of my favorite characters, like character designs. I also like Bakugo a lot as well, so it's gonna be awesome to have a big figure. There are instructions which makes me a little wary because those always take forever and are usually kind of difficult and they're taped on. They are taped on. Taped on. Yeah. So we're gonna stick his head on and put his little flare on. It looks like his head's already on, so that's great. We're already scoring big with these instructions. I'm gonna follow him. Oh man, he's heavy. He's very heavy. So yeah, that's pretty awesome. He's like blowing up the ground, causing chaos. If it could talk, he'd be screaming something silly. But yeah, I always love like his little grenade things. He's blasting his sweat. He's like breaking those beams. Let's see what's over here, not much. So this is a really awesome figure so far and we're not even anywhere close to being done with him, I think. So first we're gonna pull off that weird plastic that always freaks me out. He's got like a crown of plastic. Arrgh. Let's see if we can get this off. This looks like it's gonna be a bit bit of a nuisance. I'm nervous about that. So he's actually got quite a bit of little flare here. Oh, you do have to put his grenade on. Why didn't I realize that? And we're taped up. Oh, come on, you dang tape. Oh. Oh my gosh, there's like another layer. I think it might just be a film over them, which is just plain annoying. Especially since there's probably like 70 of them. We finally got this out. Let's see. He does have slots in his head right there, right there. Maybe it's supposed to go like this. Okay, that way fits better. So one should go in like this. And that is on the left part of his head. Okay. And then two should have it like this. And that goes on the right side of his head. Like you could see how they supposed to slot. It's just a matter of getting the right angle. I don't think that's right. Oh, cause it probably shouldn't do that. How is hair so pokey? I'm gonna break this thing in a second. Not by choice, mind you. There we go. I don't know what I did. I just wiggled it around. And it went in. That's just weird design. Oop, this is a little hazard break. Careful. That was only step one, so great. Oh, I thank you for taking care of it, but god dang.
Why is this figure annoying? I shouldn't have to put a knife against the figure. Holy God. Yeah, great. Let's just break it. Oh my God. You see this crap? Why is it like tied? At least the thing can take a bit of a beating, the statue, because you're going to need to to put anything together or apart. I shouldn't have to put a razor to it. Ugh. Maybe that'll make it possible to get this dumb thing off. It's still fighting. Oh, man. If I could give this thing, make this thing give the finger, I would. Okay. Grenade thing. We're matching up peg holes. That's your peg hole. That's what it's got to go into. Okay. That went on easy. So now we have to put this back on. After we had a fight so hard to put take it off. Okay, goes on a lot easier than it comes off. That's step two. Step three is putting flames on. Let's find that sneaky plastic. Got half of it, the wrong half, mind you. Ugh. Jeez. Okay, I think I need this one sp specifically. Okay. It's got a quite a wide slot. There is a slot right there. It is right in here. Good. So let's try and get that in. Okay, now I need to guess what seven is. I believe it's this one. And that has two spots. All right, so we got a slot here and here, which are going to be like this. Okay. That was a satisfying click. Okay, so now this one goes, there is a slot right here. There you go. And I apparently missed one. Number five, this son of a gun. After endless searching for this flipping last one, it's right up here. No one doesn't feel totally in there. It's holding, it's not really gonna go anywhere. Oh my God. So finally, it's built. This thing was the worst, most pain in the butt thing I've ever built. And is it worth it? Yeah, especially for the price I got it. It's an awesome figure. Ridiculously obnoxious to build, but boy does he look cool.